We're now joined on the sports mix by the head coach of Musselman football, Brian Thomas. Coach Thomas, your team gets a win, 26-12 on Friday night over Hedgesville. Congrats on the win. How's the feeling? Yeah, I mean, it, it feels good. You know, obviously we haven't, you know, you don't want to be sitting there at 0-6. You know, you don't want to be sitting there this late in the season still searching for your first one. But, you know, at the, at the same point, uh, you know, it is what it is. You know, it's good to uh, – it's good to get that first win. You know, it's exciting for it's exciting for the school and it's exciting for the team. And coach, your team has shown some progress each week uh, and has been in a few games here the last few weeks. So, uh, just what what do you think was the difference on Friday night to that your team was able to hold on to the lead compared to the Cattle Midland game? I mean, like you you said, and you just said it right there, we're getting a lot better. And that might be hard to see sometimes based off maybe wins and losses or what your record is or, or whatnot. But we're we're getting better as a team. You know, there's no doubt in my mind sitting there breaking us down week by week and watching us on film and the coaching staff. You know, my, my coaches have done a great job, and they agree that we're, we're showing a lot of progress. We're showing a lot of improvement throughout the year. So we're just – some of that's – some of that's the, the experience. You know, we started the year off pretty inexperienced, and now we're getting experienced. You know, and part of that's just kind of getting comfortable as the year goes on a little bit. So definitely showing improvement. Break down this past game for us. What did you see from your team that you liked or maybe didn't like? I actually didn't think we played great. Uh, we, we played better against Cabell Midland, honestly, uh, executing some things. But – you know, having said that, that we we did we did way more things right than we did things wrong, and you know we're learning situational football, and we're learning, you know where where we kind of fit in the scheme on both sides of the ball. I think players are starting to figure that out as the year goes on a little bit. So you know, offensively and defensively, I thought we played we played well. Uh, you know, we were we're, we're just we're, we're improving. I, I think I think that's really important, especially as you get into this later part of the year you want to be playing some of your better football towards the end of the year and we're you know we're seeing that a little bit just the growth from our from our football team from our players not to obviously be negative but uh you mentioned playing maybe a little bit better against Cabell what do you think you struggled with in the in the game well this past week we turned the ball over too much I mean we had three turnovers and we put the ball we put the ball more on the ground Friday night than we had our previous six games combined. So, you know, we, we've done a really good job with not fumbling the football and being a run first team. That's something that we've put emphasis on uh, Friday night. However, you know, we, we turned it over uh, too many times. You know, now there, there were some fumbles that we, we had a couple fumbles that we recovered and we got back. But, um, you know, you can't. You can't put the ball on the ground. You can't turn the ball over. You know, I wasn't I wasn't overly pleased with that part of the that part of the game. But you know, it it, it was that's something you just kind of work and continue to improve on. You're not going to be perfect. You know, every team every team in the world will fumble the ball. We'll put the ball on the ground at some point. But you know, we don't want those we don't want turnovers to plague us or to to be a problem and end up costing us a game at any time. Well, in this game, it uh, turned out that it didn't. So what do you kind of credit uh, the win to on the other side of things or just as a whole? Execution. You know, we, we were able to execute uh, throwing the ball and running the ball. You know, offensively, we were able to do a lot of things. We were, you know, we were able to put the ball in the air when we needed to. Uh, we were able to grind it out and, and be, get on the ground and, and have a run game clicking when we had to. So I really think execution from the offensive side of the ball, you know, and even the, even the defensive side of the ball, I thought we, you know, we've been working on blitz game timing. We've been working on coverage. You know, we've just been working on, you know, tackling, just kind of the basics of getting better at what we do daily. So just executing that stuff and being able to come out and do that, you know, I, I think helped us out a lot. Jefferson this week, coach, a team that similar to you guys, uh, has gotten better throughout the season. They started off slow and they've now turned it around to be four and three. So uh, what are some things that you're seeing from the Cougars so far this year and what will be some challenges about Friday night? Yeah, uh, you know, a lot of respect for Coach Hunter. Coach Hunter's one of my 
you know, probably my best friend in the in the coaching business. Uh, you know, he does a great job and and does a great job with their team. So a lot of respect for them and what they do. But you're right, they they get a, they've gotten a lot better. Uh, you know, Jefferson's Jefferson always presents speed, and that you know they can spread the field from sideline to sideline. They can get vertical. They can get horizontal. You know, they, if if they make you miss, they can turn it into a to a touchdown pretty quick. You know, I, I think that's probably a credit to. Coach Hunter also being a track coach is he's probably got the relationships with those young men that he can get the, you know, get the athletes and get the speed out for his team every year. So that's that's definitely a problem is just the speed that they present. And they got a lot of size up front too. So they've they've definitely gotten better. You know, they've really looked good the past couple of weeks. You know, they went down to Spring Valley and beat up on Spring Valley early, early in the year. So they're they're a really good football team. You know, I think they got they got good quarterback play. They have a good running back. They're they're they got size up front. They have a lot of speed at receivers. So, you know, there's not many weaknesses when you look at, you know, what they have on their team. You mentioned execution was the difference last week against Hedgesville. What are the main things that you hope to execute against uh Jefferson to make that be the difference on Friday? I think we have to tackle them in space. You know, if we if we get out and let them break tackles, like I mentioned earlier, they can turn a you know they can turn a, a what seems like a simple five to ten yard play into a sixty or seventy yard touchdown. So you know we got to we got to do little things correctly, like tackle. You know, like I mentioned earlier, we can't turn the ball over and give them extra possessions because they'll they'll thrive off of that momentum. So you know we got to we got to kind of be smart with just some of the basics of the game. Just you know protect the football and, and make the tackles in open space. Coach, you've uh, got an opportunity too to see jefferson this year against some other teams that like to run the football how does that i guess help in your preparation yeah i mean it yeah it, it helps you know that once you get once you get this late in the season uh you, you know you've seen a lot from different teams so you know sometimes earlier in the season it's tough because you're trying to piece together what a team really is or what their identity is you know you get late in the season and i'm sure they'll say the same thing is they you know they can tell who we are when we watch film um you know the same with them so it's you know there's only there's only so much you can do in in football um you know a a lot of times you don't it's not all the time that you that you trick somebody or you come out and give somebody a look that they haven't seen you know, like I said, especially later in the season like this, but, you know, it's, it helps a little bit watching film and seeing them a lot on film, but at the same point, you know, it still comes down to, to executing the things that we need to execute on Friday night. All right, Coach, any other thoughts about this week's matchup against Jefferson? I don't believe so. All right. Want to do the fun question this week then, Nick? Yeah, I messed. Listen, I told you last week. I said right when we hang up. I I struggle with these questions because you catch me off guard. Where I told you last week, I said right when you hang up, I'm gonna think of something else. I should say. And right when we hung up last week, I was like, oh crap! I was like, the obvious answer was Jesus. I said like, if I could meet anybody, it would be Jesus. I would uh, like that would be. I'd rather meet Jesus than Nick Saban. That's true. So, yeah, I always. Yeah, I always, I always mess those, I always mess those questions up. So I'll give it a go, but probably the same thing. Right when we hang up today, I'll probably think like, "Oh man, why didn't I think of that on the spot?" Yeah, this one's not as serious. So okay, um, they're all serious. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> um, so, coach, what would be your stage name or rap name? Stage name, stage yeah. name, rapper name. So, like, you're going out. It's a music star as a rapper what what would you want to be called uh, you, you know i'm I, I i mean i guess i guess i'll have to i have to go with the great matt miller who gave me the nickname many years ago b tom just gotta go gotta go with the b tom keep it simple that's yeah. what we figured you'd say oh man too, that's not a bad thing yeah that's too predictable <laughs> You know what? While we have you, should we extend it out and allow every coach to give a name to the other coaches? I don't know. Is that too much? Just allow each coach to do themselves, or what? What do you think other coaches I mean, should be? I mean, I would. I, I mean, like I said, me and Coach Hunter are good friends, so I could I could tag Coach Hunter. Um. Um. P. 
you got to go with the I, I would say Coach Hunter would be like H money because you got to go with the uh, H for the Hunter. Yep, there you go. That's that, that's dumb. That's lame. That's a, that's a horrible answer. <laughs> what if he says H money though when we talk to him? It's possible. <laughs> then then that's then that's what I'm going to change his name to in my phone next time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. All right, guys. Thank I'm, you. I'm, see, I'm more. I'm more. I like. I wouldn't even be a rapper though. I'd be more of a like a more of a, a country guy. Like if I'd be anything, I would. I wouldn't be a rapper. I wouldn't be an Eminem. I'd be a. I'd be like an old school George Strait. I'd, I'd want to go country music. I think B Tom works for that as well. All right. Okay. Yeah. It's just a uni- universal name for everything. All right. I'll go with that. Thank you, Coach. Yeah, I appreciate you guys. Thank you. You guys.